Yo guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to try out something new. We will take a look together on a prototype that I received and I'm going to showcase it to you. All right, as you might saw on my Instagram stories a couple of weeks ago, Death HQ was so nice to send me one of their new belts from their first batch. The belts aren't fully released yet, so this makes it kind of like prototype, but it's definitely not an alpha or better state. This is a solid product and it's factory made and I think there won't be too many differences between this belt and the belts you will get as soon as they hit the market. With the increasing penalties at SpeakyB tournaments, I also stopped playing with the chest rig because the chances that you get hit on your chest and you don't feel it are way way higher than getting hit on your belt and don't feel it. So this is why it's currently a trend to go back to a belt from chest rig and this is also why I don't recommend wearing chest rigs anymore. Great, another belt on the market you might think right now, but bear with me because this little bad boy introduces some new approach to the game and it's made for competition. The guys behind Death HQ, which is a British brand, are deeply connected to the BQB scene in Europe and also they have long-term paintball experience in higher leagues so all of that knowledge, all of that experience went in this belt to give us a new unique product which really improves the current setups. Shout out again to Death HQ for making this belt unique and putting my logo on the inside. So this belt comes with an inner and outer belt. With that combination of inner and outer belt, you first put on the inner belt. This should be as tight as possible. If you are done with that, you can close the belt with the outer belt. This one shouldn't sit too tight, it's just there for keeping everything together while playing and sliding. What I really like about the outer belt is that they cut it off a bit here, so it never will cut in your body or squeeze it or whatever. I really like it when companies pay attention to those little details. Also if you take a look on how reinforced the stitching is and how well the edges are covered up, it doesn't feel like factory made. The quality is almost on fully handmade level. Then after you mounted the mag pouches, you just put over the strap, also put it on the little velcro flap at the side and connect them to the open side to the other flap. So what that does is that when you loaded your belt up with your magazines, the flap will make sure that all the magazines are still in place and don't bubble around. No matter how hard you run or how hard you slide, it won't wobble. This is definitely a game changer to me and it worked out so perfectly when I played with the belt that I don't want to miss it in the future. And of course you want to know about the downsides as well of the belt. But the only real issue I came across so far is that because of how tight the belt sits on your body, it sometimes can get really really hot under it. So this is not a problem for tournaments or for training, but this belt is not meant to be played or used the whole day without taking it off. If you take it off like after the trainings or in breaks or after a game at the tournament, it's totally fine and it won't overheat. But if you play with full force like for the whole day and wear it, your body cannot breathe. So again, this is made for competition and not for normal airsoft or speedsoft usage. Keep that in mind. Another point, and it's not directly a negative thing, but I observed that after a day full of playing and training, the belt might be soaked with water and sweat. It's definitely a good idea to flat it out and let it dry overnight. Otherwise, it might happen that you get some dog ears and no one wants that. As I said, the belts are not released yet, so you can't buy them right now, but you should definitely give them a follow on Instagram. Link is in the video description. Also, I know that they are negotiating with a big, well-known shop in Europe so you don't have to worry about paying big amount of fees or taxes or whatever because of the Brexit. It will be available in Europe quite soon. 
Also, the price is not set in stone yet, but from what I heard, it will be around 100 to 150 euros. And I would definitely buy one for myself if they haven't already shipped me one. Beside that, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment and a like if you want to see more gear talks like this in the future. Also make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, so you won't miss out on new videos I upload. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.